So extramedullary myeloma has been uh, since like the start of like the beginning of like uh, uh, the novel treatments and the more targeted therapy in myeloma like uh, like lenalidomide and proteasome inhibitors extramedullary uh, myeloma have, has been always like uh, the only subgroup that always do the worst in all of these uh, treatments and cohorts and even in transplant and in patients receiving CD3, CD38 monoclonal antibodies and also uh, in the published data on the BCMA CAR T and the BCMA by specifics. So they always do worse. Uh, the question is now that, that we are trying to study as well, why they, they have the worst response even with the novel immunotherapies. Um, and there are some efforts even in some clinical trials trying to uh, use like uh, the GPRC 5D uh, bispecifics with the BCMA bispecifics to, to, to kind of attack like the extramedullary tissue in a more effective way. We're still waiting for the data for all of these uh, trials, but it's still a challenge and we try to use as much as we can of like what we have in our uh, kind of uh, the therapies that we have right now. But to be honest, still like some patients still after receiving CAR T and by specifics, they still relapse. So we need like a more innovative way. And also we need a more basic understanding why extramedullary disease happens in the beginning, because maybe then understanding what are the pathway involves and how it's different from the disease that's in the bone marrow would be would give us a lot of information and insights to how to target it more effectively. So that's what we are actually doing now as well uh, at our uh, lab at Cornell and in the myeloma program, trying to understand um, how this uh, how we can like understand the basic biology by analyzing uh, a big number of tissues who have like non-periskeletal extramedullary disease.